WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Mohegan Sun Poeno. The River, 105 and 1035. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout with you, as I always am. Sunday nights, 9 to 10, bringing your regional artists doing their own original music. From right here in Northeast PA, hanging out with the producer, the co-host, and my friend, D.C. Taylor. D.C., good to see you. You too, Alan. How we doing? I'm doing all right, and I want to, right on the top of the hour here, wish you a happy birthday. You will be celebrating on Tuesday. Tuesday. So, happy birthday to you. Uh Uh-huh. I hope you have a fabulous day, my friend. I appreciate that, and a happy birthday to you. Yours is uh, today, right? No, no, no. Mine is Thursday. Oh, okay. You're two days two days, two days after, after you. Me. Okay, yep, yep. right. So you're the 15th and I'm the 17th. Well, so we're right. always in the same show week anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, happy birthday to you. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> sure. that. Sure. Let's get this show rolling here with Miz. This is a great song called North Jersey Queen. I'm thinking about that birthday on the beach You know the frozen is growing strong The summertime's come and gone I know better things are just within my reach But now my mind is all a mess Can't stop thinking about the way she wore that dress The way she moves, the way she bleeds The way she gave the love inside her heart to me if she walked into the room right now, every hair would turn around. Her smile makes the heavens open wide. I used to hang upon her every word like a song from a hummingbird. I felt lucky when she looked into my eyes. Now my mind. In distress, can't stop thinking about her taking on that dress. The way she moves, the way she gleams. When her big brown eyes were looking up at me, she's a North Jersey queen. So take this love and drag it down. Feels like yesterday when we own this town. So take my hand. Still 
Fighting Zero here on Music on the Menu on the River. A song called Refined featuring Scott Van Fossen on vocals. That was a band that Scott had put together here back in uh, the late 2000s, around 2006, 2007 is when I got to know that band. And uh, they did some great stuff. He has since relocated to Nashville. Before that, Miz, another artist who has relocated to Nashville, at least sometimes he's down there quite a bit. Uh, a song called North Jersey Queen. Now we're talking about some milestone days 
D.C. Hard to believe that on Friday we had the 19th anniversary of 9-11. Yeah, 19 years. So next year, uh, you know, like people tend to try to do a little bit more on those big even numbers. So I imagine there'll be some particularly big ceremonies next year sure. at Ground Zero, particularly if we're out of this virus situation, COVID-19. And have you been to the memorial in New York? Um, the 9-11 memorial? I'm trying to think. No. I have not either. It was really one of the things that my kids and I talked about doing last winter. Mm-hmm. You know, we were you know, taking a look at the summer, yeah. and going to the 9-11 memorial was something that we thought we would do, and obviously we didn't do, you know, New York City was not the place to be for quite a while this year. Right. Uh, but maybe next year uh, we'll we'll try to get there as we, um, you know, we we think back on, on that time. It, the band that we're going to play now, actually, Life for, um, they released their debut record on Universal Records about a week before 9-11. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it, 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 it sort of suffered from that. You know, mm-hmm. the whole record industry shut down, the whole enter- en- entertainment industry shut down, tours were canceled. These guys were supposed to go out with somebody, else. it was Godsmack or somebody pretty big around that time. They were going to do a tour, the tour got canceled. And so, you know, you had that domino effect from from right. 9-11 yeah. obviously not nearly as significant as the lives lost and, and but uh you know it affected a lot of different things but good to see these guys back together making music doing quite a bit of it late it's a new one from life it's called lightning in a bottle
Boomtown Boys here on Music on the Menu on the River with a brand new tune called The Fade. We've been playing that one for a couple weeks now. They're from Williamsport. Before that, brand new music from Lifer. A song called Lightning in a Bottle. Aaron Fink still playing with that band. Nick Coyle obviously still playing with that band. So some of the core original members of that group still getting together, making music, and doing some live shows. We're going to premiere a track for you now from an artist named Brian Tonart. Brian uh, reached out to us recently about getting some music on the show. And so I sent him the information on how to submit us some tunes. And he sent us a couple. And I really liked them. So I'm going to play one for you tonight. And I think we'll play another one for you next week as well. This one's called Brianna. Hi folks, this is Joe Burke, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout, On the River. Mind moves in the midst of an early horizon Sun shines on the bits that have always been hiding Shed signs of residual mess like an old tree Up straight, I can barely see over the dead leaves. So long, I'm sorry I'm stuck here. I cannot explain the reasons they're rising from under. I Strange moving my body I'm at an 
Joe Burke here on Music on the Menu on the River with a brand new tune called Oak Tree. And before that, Brian Tonart, brand new to our show, great tune called Brianna. We're going to play a song for you now by the group uh, Blind Choice. The song is called Courtney, and it was written by vocalist and guitarist Dylan Peicher um, about a friend of his who took her own life. And with this past week, with September 10th being... Uh, National Suicide Prevention Day. We thought we'd play it for you tonight. Blind Choice, Courtney. Check it out. Flowers sprouting in the spring Beautiful as it can Of loving you Well, oh, yes, love miss you Where have you gone? We fade away Feeling lost Every day As heaven takes you home, I look into your bright eyes. All I see is your sunshine, skyscrapers lie in the sky as we. Thank you. 
Brett Alexander, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the River. When I'm feeling low, when I'm feeling down, like I ain't got a friend left in this town. When I can't find the words to this song, Nathan the superhero comes along. Well, he comes along, comes along, Nathan comes along. Stronger than a steam town tree He falls down but he gets up again With a battery that runs a million miles Nathan the superhero makes me smile Well he makes me smile Then he makes you smile Oh he makes us smile He makes me smile and he makes you smile Oh, he makes us smile Justice League and Avengers They line up to me This little boy From a south side street To learn the secret of his superpower They fight an evil Every single hour Make the world a better place Shine a light on every happy face When you need a lift, big or small Nathan the superhero is your first call Well, he's your first call He's your first call Nathan's your first call Justice League and Avengers, they line up to me This little boy from the south side street They can run and jump, they can climb and swing But they've never seen anyone like him When I'm feeling low, when I'm feeling down Like I ain't got a friend left when I can't find the words to this song Nathan the superhero comes along Well he comes along, he comes along Nathan comes along Well he comes along, well he comes along Nathan comes along Fred Alexander and Tom Flannery here on Music on the Menu on the River with a brand new song called Nathan the Superhero. Brett and Tom have been recording a lot of music during COVID-19 remotely. I think we've played a different track from MDC every single week. I think so. Yeah, they keep they keep cranking them out. Since we came back on on August uh, 2nd. Yeah. Yep. So, every, so, you know, we've played about eight songs now. Mm -hmm. That song uh, was inspired by a young man, Nathan, who is a three-year-old boy from the region who's battling cancer. And a lot of people in the community have gotten behind Nathan. I know that um, Keith Perks, a local photographer, has been very involved as well. And there is a Facebook page. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Nathan and how to help, just uh, go on Facebook and type in Nathan the Superhero, and you'll find some information there about him and also, you know, if you wanted to make a donation or so forth. We're going to premiere a brand new track for you now to the show, a song we haven't played before. Uh, an artist named Steve Ivanchik sent me some tunes recently from his group Gravel. And uh, I would like this one, so I was spinning for you tonight. This one's called Mind's Eye. Try. 
Here on Music on the Menu on the Rib with a brand new song called Sugar. And before that, Gravel with a song called Mind's Eye. Now, DC and I are sitting here in the casino. And we just saw a woman walk by wearing what I would describe as fuzzy bedroom slippers. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. pointed them out to DC. Uh -huh. Because this is about the fifth time I've seen this now from various women over the past couple of weeks. You're, you're spotting a trend. I'm spotting a trend. I've seen it on young women. I've seen it on women we just saw look like she may have been a middle-aged, right. 40-ish woman. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's not it's not a young kid thing. It's not an, an, an old retro thing. But right. these shoes, I, first time I saw a woman wearing them, I thought, wow, I, I think it was in a Turkey Hill or somewhere. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes neighborhood people get a little lazy and they just run over yeah. if they're in the neighborhood. I thought, I think that woman's wearing bedroom slippers. Yeah, okay. And I look at the shoes a little more and they, they were not. They had like a shoe kind of bottom to them sure with the big fuzzy thing on the front okay so this is a new fashion thing i don't know how i feel about it yet uh, <laughs> I, I have not noticed the trend yet but I, I imagine now that you have mentioned it i will probably now notice especially where you sit yeah, i mean right. you're here right. in the casino for every day for I'm doing, doing major people watching every day or five now. hours sure. i'm only up here an hour a week and we already spot it once yeah, so yeah, yeah watch out for those fuzzy bedroom slipper shoes and we'll see if it's still a thing uh, a year from now. Sometimes fashion things hold up over time, and you look at a picture 10 years ago. I remember those. And sometimes you go, oh, my God, what was I thinking? <laughs> Please don't show me that picture. I'm thinking some of the ladies might regret the fuzzy bedroom slipper shoes, but I I, I, I don't know. I, I, I speculate <laughs> that if it is a trend, it's probably like a uh, a a. It, they would call it the stuck at home trend because you know, <laughs> most people, a lot of people, have been stuck at home for the last however many it, months, and they they go out, but they go, hey, you know what? Eh, I still want to make it look and feel like I'm stuck at home. It's rather appropriate for a COVID nineteen twenty twenty sure. the, the bedroom slipper look. Now that you very, mention it, very good, good point, DC. Yep. <laughs> good. <Thanks>. Point. <laughs> Let's play another brand new one for you here. This is from the Elk Mountain Players. It's called Angel of Sorrow. She came rolling on the highway and straight into my life on a Saturday. And by Sunday she was moved into my place with nowhere left to go. I read existential poetry from books and acted like I knew it all. And by week's end, I found myself in love with an angel of sorrow. My My angel, angel 
Babel here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Stand Together, which is certainly something that uh, I think we could all do a little bit of a better job this year in recent times. So, you know, everybody kind of got in this we're all in it together thing during COVID-19, but then the divisiveness started happening right away. Yeah. So maybe we could all bring it back together next year. Before that, the Elk Mountain Players with a brand new song called angel of sorrow nfl kicking off tonight my dallas cowboys are playing the rams right now as we speak okay. and your eagles in a divisional clash are playing the washington football team the washington quote football team <laughs> what a great marketing team they have there in washington that is uh, that is a one you know, they're earning every cent of that paycheck they are going to name the team something right they should have named the team something for this season so that they can start the rebranding of the franchise. Yeah. There were some great names being kicked around. I saw some polls. They don't have to change the colors. They could still be the, the great burgundy and gold. I'm a Dallas fan. I always thought the Redskins uniforms were pretty cool. Maybe it's because they're so similar to my high school, Wyoming Valley West. Oh, okay. Uh, very, our, our, our high school football team and the Redskins looked almost identical at one yeah. point. But yeah, I, I mean, my gosh, <laughs> I mean, pick a name for the team already. Dan Snyder can do nothing right. I'm convinced of that. I'm so glad he's in our division, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, as far as you and I, you know, you got the advantage because you won a, a Super Bowl a couple of years ago, whereas I haven't in like 26 years or something like that. Right. 24 years. But, you know, head to head, the Cowboys have done pretty well against the Eagles. Yeah. But, Tony Romo had their number actually for quite a while. So mm -hmm. we'll see how it plays out this year in the empty stadiums. Hopefully they'll be able to get through the season all right and not have to shut it down. Because yeah, that'd you know, be nice. the but, baseball, they've shut it down a couple of times, but it's 60 games. They, they play a doubleheader a couple of days later. Right. You're not going to be able to do that in football. No, no. So if they have to start shutting down games, it's they're going to have a lot of problems. So yep. We wish them the best. You optimistic for your Eagles, DC? Sure. Of course. Every year. Every year is a new, fresh new start. <laughs> Get that second Super Bowl ring. You feeling yeah, it? Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> All right. Hey, I was just recently looking through some of my old archive stuff, and I found my very first interview with the Badleys that I did in 1993 hmm. on Labor Day weekend in the basement of Jitterbugs at the CD release party for the unfortunate result of spare time. And the funny thing about it is, Brett Alexander and I have obviously become very good friends over the years. Uh, He's been on the show many times. Brett used to wear one of those mechanic shirts yeah. that were it had like the name Earl on it, I think. Right. And you could hear me on the interview going around the room, and Brett says something, and you hear me say, 24-year-old kid or whatever I was, saying, you know, okay, I want to make sure I get that right. That was Earl. <laughs> <laughs> and we all burst out laughing. And, uh, you know, so I'll play this one in memory of the spare time record. I'll have to keep from crying. We'll catch you next week.
my job But I don't like to 